My name is Scott Love from Lovelytics, and I'm here to give a quick demo on how organizations can best use Tableau first-party data and outsource third-party data to be able to better analyze site selection decisions. So today, we have a pre-built dashboard here using demo data that I want to showcase how an organization can potentially leverage some third-party data and Tableau to be able to analyze their decisions. To start, from the navigation page here, I'm going to select our location analysis dashboard. This location analysis dashboard was built with the use case of a fast food restaurant wanting to build a new location in Denver. And we want to be able to analyze where some competitors are and what the foot traffic is nearby. Additionally, you'll see some of the additional analysis on the right hand side where we can understand of those visitors to those locations, what are some of the demographic and time factors that factor into the decisions. So to start, what I'm going to do is let's say we're a burger restaurant and we want to build a new restaurant at Coors Field, downtown Denver. This, I'm going to select it here on the left hand side, and you'll see that it populates a blue dot where the location is that we wish to build a new location. Now, the left side of this is a custom Mapbox extension built using the Tableau extension API. The right side of the dashboard is going to be native Tableau. All of this allows for full functionality and interactivity between the two. So going back to the map, what it automatically does is once we've selected that location, it creates what we call an isochrone map. What an isochrone map allows you to do is see driving time, cycling time, and walking time based on historical traffic and driving patterns. So as you zoom in, you'll see very quickly that within the location here, we have 10 minutes driving, we have a 20 minutes driving, and then also on the outskirts, we have a 30 minute driving as well. The purpose of this is to be able to allow users to very quickly understand within 10 minutes driving of the location I wish to build, how many competitors are nearby here. And you can see the competitors are color coded. For example, we have a Starbucks location that's very close to us. Once you select that location, you could see based on the third party data that we've loaded in here, which can come from Foursquare, SafeGraph and other providers, um, how many people are visiting that location. So let's make this something that's a little more relevant. Let's say we wanted to go and select walking distance because this is a downtown location. We want to be able to understand where are people going to walk to that are close to this location that I wish to build. Now, the good news for this restaurant is that because we want to place it here, there's actually no competitors within 10 minutes walking distance of here. So maybe this is a great location for us to place a restaurant. Alternatively, if we were to place it over here, we can quickly see that there's a lot of competitors there and maybe that's not the best location to place it. Additionally, what we're seeing here on the right hand side is understanding some of the foot traffic that is coming to this location. So, for example, we can see that the foot traffic across the year is fairly steady outside of some in December and January, which makes sense in Denver due to the weather. From a time analysis standpoint, we can see this is likely more of a business district because we can see that there's a lot of foot traffic during the day, late into the night, not so much. And additionally, we can see that this is a fairly male dominated area with about 3 million male visitors and about 2 million female visitors. But for the most part, we're also seeing that that age range, the most popular being 30 to 34 and others in that area, which might be great for a fast food restaurant. Additionally, what we're able to do is to adjust the map to be able to analyze things slightly differently. So for example, if we wanted to select a bubble, we can have bubbles based upon foot traffic. The larger the bubble, the more foot traffic. If we want to make this view a little easier to understand, we can also do clusters. Clusters meaning that it clusters the different fast food chains as we go in and out, depending on the zoom level that you're in. So as we zoom in, you'll see that the clusters break up until they're eventually down to the individual point level. All of this is completely customizable based on what an organization is looking for. And we often see organizations leverage this information with their first party data to be able to understand where our existing clients are, where they're coming from, meaning uh, the draw area of that of your current visitors, and then also where your competitors are. Alternatively, I'll select this advanced analysis one to show an example of how data science can be leveraged in a similar situation. So in this demo, I've pre-selected that we're going to build a location here. And within this area, what we're most interested in is of the visitors who have come to this location, where else are they going? So what we've been able to understand based on the third party data we've, we've leveraged here is that you're able to see within the last hour of visiting the location that we plan to build this site, we can see that they've, they've visited Walmart, 7-Eleven, and King Supers the most. This helps from a marketing or a partnership perspective to be able to understand who is our client base and where are they coming from. Alternatively, we want to understand of our visitors, what are their favorite chains that they visit all time? 
That's what we're also seeing here. To no surprise, very similar to where they visited in the last hour with Walmart, King Supers, but then also Lair and McDonald's and Rotella Park as well. So this is just one different way to look at this data using data science and to understand where your client base is coming from. So at a high level, there's a lot of ways that we can analyze site selection analytics using Tableau third-party and first-party data. If you have any questions, please reach out to the Lovelytics team at loveyourdata at lovelytics.com. Thank you.